So today we're in chapters 11 and 12 of the book of Isaiah. And if you kind of wanted to give a focus to these chapters, you can see Isaiah chapter 11 really as a chapter of prophecy and chapter 12 as a chapter of praise. See, in chapter 11, Isaiah is sharing this prophetic day when Jesus, I believe, will literally physically rule and reign in a time of peace. This is known as the millennial age. Listen to how Isaiah describes this, starting in verse six. In that day, the wolf and the lamb will live together. The leopard will lie down with a baby goat. The calf and the yearling will be safe with the lion and a little child will lead them all. See, this time is a time on earth that I believe will be marked by tremendous peace. But also the application extends to today when individuals come under the authority of Jesus in their lives. Not only are they forgiven from sin, but they're free from the power of sin and able to be reconciled together. There's this beautiful ability in Christ for walls to come down, for things that would never happen to happen. Things like a wolf and a lamb living together, that's not natural, that's not normal. But see, in Christ, relationships can be reconciled and built in a beautiful way because they're built on the foundation of Jesus. We're forgiven and we're free from sin. But then as we move into Isaiah chapter 12, it's not so much about prophecy as much as it is about praise. Listen to some of the words authored here in Isaiah chapter 12. Verse two says this, see God has come to save me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. The Lord God is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. So today as you read through these chapters, be reminded in Christ we're forgiven, we're free, but also we do have this future that chapter 11 prophesies about and it should dwell within us, bring within us this dynamic of praise and trust that God is good. So today as you read through these chapters, look up in the realization that God is good and he has a day coming for us where there will be no more sorrow, no more sin, no more shame. And that's something to sing about, to praise about, because God is good.